Next we'll talk about some of the basic editing commands, which include erase, move, copy, and rotate. In the previous video, you saw that you can select objects before running a command using selection windows, crossing windows, or by picking objects individually. Alternatively, you can run a command first and then select your objects using a number of options outlined in the selecting section of the book. To run the erase command, select an object to erase, type E or erase into the command line and press enter. The object will be erased. Alternatively, with no object selected, you can type E to enter the erase command and then use any of the selection tools discussed in the book to select the objects you'd like to erase. Be sure to hit enter when you're done selecting objects. The move command is how you move objects from one location to another. Select the objects you'd like to move, type M to enter the move command, and then select a base point. A base point is essentially the point by which you grab the objects. For my selected basketball hoop and backboard, if I choose a base point in the middle of the hoop, then as I move the object, it will stick to my cursor at that point. To place the object at a new location, simply click at the new location. Alternatively, if you know the precise distance and direction you'd like to move an object, you can use the displacement option within the move command. Select your objects, enter the move command. Before choosing a base point, enter the displacement option. The prompt asks you to enter distances in x, y, and z directions. To move this hoop 10 units to the right, I would enter 10, comma, 0, comma, 0. The copy command works like the move command, except the selected objects remain at their original locations. If I select this entire basketball court and enter CO for copy, I will be prompted to select a base point or displacement. Using the default base point mode, I'll select a base point in the top left corner and copy this basketball court down below. The copy command stays active until you press enter. In other words, I can keep copying basketball courts using this base point. When I'm done, I just hit enter. Don't confuse the AutoCAD copy command with selecting an object, right-clicking into clipboard and copy, or using Ctrl-C on the keyboard. This copies the object to the Windows clipboard, not to another location in the AutoCAD drawing. In other words, stick to the copy command run through the command line in AutoCAD. Use the rotate command to rotate selected objects about a specified base point. Select the objects to be rotated. and type RO to enter the rotate command. Like the move and copy commands, rotate also requires a base point. The base point is the point about which all the objects you've selected will rotate. To keep this court stationary in this upper right corner, I'll choose that corner as the base point. Now I can specify a rotation angle with my cursor, and you'll see an automatic preview as you move your cursor. To pick the angle, I just click again to define the line of rotation. Alternatively, I can enter a numeric value into the command line. In this case, I'd like to rotate the object 90 degrees. Using the copy option within Rotate, you can leave the original objects in their place and rotate a copy. The reference option will allow you to select a line in your object for reference and align that with another object in your drawing. Now let's put it all together. I'll use a crossing window to erase all the basketball courts I've created, leaving only the original. Next I'll take this original and copy it to the right. I'll pick a base point in the bottom left corner and place the new basketball court to the right of the existing basketball court. I'll press enter to finish. 
Next I'll select the new basketball court and I'll type RO to rotate it. For my base point I'll select the bottom right corner and for my angle of rotation I'll enter 90. Next I'll use that crossing window again to select the basketball court. Type M for move. Choose a point in the middle left of the basketball court and move it up near the original.